Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. Today we're taking a look at three tech stocks that top ranked analysts love. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three big names in the tech sector that have buy ratings pouring in from some of the best ranked analysts. So today, we're gonna take a look at these stocks, what it is that these companies do, and of course, what these analysts are predicting for the stock's future. Don't forget, you can get one free year of Tip Ranks Premium when you sign up on a three-year plan. So make sure you check out the link in the description down below if you wanna unlock some fantastic research tools. Now let's dive right into these three tech stocks. First up, we're starting with Uber Technologies under the ticker UBER. Their stock is priced at $43 per share, and they've seen amazing growth this past year, up 94% and 39% in just the last few months, but analysts think there's still room to go. Uber, of course, is best known for their ride-hailing app, but the company has expanded beyond that as well with their Uber Eats and even freight booking solutions. With 5.7 million monthly active drivers and couriers globally, Uber is available in over 10,500 cities. They provide a staggering 24 million trips per day, and the company has 130 million monthly active platform consumers. Uber has been pushing forward on many fronts, including artificial intelligence and green energy. Uber strives to be a zero emission and low packaging waste platform by 2040, and that includes several initiatives, including offering more ways for riders to go green and also helping drivers go electric. Their Green Future program is going to provide access to resources valued at $800 million to help hundreds of thousands of drivers transition to battery EVs by 2025. Uber already uses artificial intelligence in many applications, including their algorithms, but they did recently file for a new patent. Back in the spring, Uber applied for a patent on technology that predicts customers' habits. The technology would match drivers with users who are likely to request a ride or delivery. With technology like this, Uber would be able to anticipate riders' habits and have drivers ready for the requests. Last month, Uber also announced they'd be partnering up with Waymo to bring autonomous driving technology to the platform. They announced a new multi-year strategic partnership to make the Waymo driver available to more people via the Uber platform. The integration will launch publicly later this year with a set number of Waymo vehicles across their newly expanded territory in Phoenix and will include local deliveries and ride-hailing trips. And one more recent piece of news was Uber announced they'd be getting into advertising. Just last week, it was announced that they would implement video advertising across all of their apps. Video ads will run on the primary app as users await drivers and take their trips, as well as on tablets installed in certain vehicles. Uber shared their most recent quarterly earnings report near the start of May, and the company came out with a smaller than expected loss. For their Q1, Uber reported a loss per share of $0.08, cents, which was $0.01 cent narrower than analysts anticipated. Revenue came in at $8.8 billion, and that grew 29% year-over-year. They also saw their gross bookings grow 19% year-over-year. So a lot of recent news for Uber Technologies, and of course that has attracted a lot of Wall Street attention. The Uber stock currently has 30 analyst ratings, and what is really impressive is every single one of those comes in as a buy. The average price target comes in at $52 per share, which would be an upside potential of 19% from current prices, which is pretty impressive when you consider how much growth the stock has already seen. Taking a look down below here, you'll see a lot of double-digit price targets, some of them a bit lower here around 1%, but a lot of five-star analysts weighing in on the stock as well. The most recent price target came in just today, and that was Barclays, who increased their price target to $57. The analyst said that they also see a long-term path to $70 per share. Uber is running well ahead of their 2024 goals, and they expect to give an update on their long-term forecast early next year. They can see the rides business being able to compound in the 15% range. Our second tech stock that is picking up a lot of buy ratings from top-ranked analysts is Marvell. Their stock trades under the ticker MRVL, currently priced just shy of $57 per share. Now you can see they've had a lot of growth recently. They're up 23% this past year, but have seen growth of 34%, jumping up here near the end of May. Marvell Technology is a semiconductor company. With operations around the world, they design, develop, and market analog, mixed, and digital signal processing and embedded in standalone integrated circuits. They primarily serve several different markets, including carrier, automotive, enterprise, and data centers. 
And of course, there is a lot of focus on data centers lately, as demand for cloud-based AI applications grow, having optimized data infrastructure that offers high performance, scalability, and security is crucial. Marvell's portfolio of cloud-optimized silicon provides best-in-class solutions for compute, storage, networking, and connectivity with high bandwidth capabilities. That big jump up near the end of May came with their earnings report, where they did come out with better than expected earnings, but also some commentary surrounding AI. Their CEO noted that they delivered revenue of $1.322 billion, which is above the midpoint of their guidance, and are forecasting sequential revenue growth in the second quarter. They then said that AI has emerged as a key growth driver for Marvell, which we are enabling with our leading network connectivity products and emerging cloud-optimized silicon platform. While we're still in the early stages of our AI ramp, we are forecasting our AI revenue in fiscal 2024 to at least double from the prior year and continue to grow rapidly in the coming year. And of course, that commentary was very well received. The Marvel stock now has 21 analyst ratings, with 20 buys and just one hold. Analysts are predicting a good bit of growth for the Marvel stock's future. The average price target for the Marvel stock comes in at $67 per share, with an upside potential of 17.5% from current prices. Taking a look at our detailed list, once again we'll see a lot of top-ranked analysts weighing in on the Marvel stock, and many of them with some pretty attractive double-digit upside potential. The most recent rating came in just yesterday from the Bank of America, who raised their price target and is predicting about a 32% upside. They noted that generative AI networking silicon could increase five times to $10 billion by the end of 2027. And third on our list today, we're taking a look at Alibaba. They trade under the ticker BABA, currently priced at $84 per share. Now, their stock has seen some ups and downs, seeing a lot of growth at the uh, start of 2023 here, but they're actually down 24% over the first year, while the last six months they've come out relatively flat. Alibaba is a Chinese online marketplace. Founded back in 1999, the company has four business segments, including their core commerce, cloud computing, digital media and entertainment, and innovation initiatives. Back in March, the company made the big announcement that they would be splitting up into six different business units, with each to explore their own IPOs. They said that the new organizational structure will empower all of their businesses to become more agile, enhance decision-making, enable faster responses to market changes, and promote innovation to capture opportunities. The first to spin off will be their cloud business. They'll be kicking off the largest ever reorganization within the next 12 months. Their board of directors have approved a full spinoff of the Cloud Intelligence Group via a stock dividend distribution to its shareholders. Before the spinoff, Alibaba plans to bring in external strategic investors through private financings, ahead of it becoming an independently public-listed company. And of course, Alibaba is another company making strides in artificial intelligence. They recently unveiled a large language model that can respond to text prompts in both English and Chinese. Corporate users can access the model on the cloud and fine-tune it for their business needs. This will help them perform tasks from drafting business proposals to polishing essays. At the end of May, Alibaba did share their quarterly results where they came out with an earnings beat. They reported Q4 earnings per share of $1.49, which was $0.18 cents ahead of analysts' expectations. They also reported revenue of about $30.3 billion U.S., which was an increase of 2% year-over-year. Their stock currently has 15 analyst ratings, and this is another one where we have nothing but buys. Along with unanimous buy ratings, we also have a pretty bullish price target at $143 per share. That would be an upside of about 70% from current prices, which is pretty crazy. A lot of analysts weighing in just in this last week, including some top-ranked analysts here. Uh, And again, a lot of big upside potentials, some of them even over 100%. So those are our three tech stocks, all pulling in some buy ratings from top ranked analysts and some pretty bullish outlooks on some of these too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, which one of these caught your eye the most and what are some of your other favorite big tech names? I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Of course, keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just keeping you up to date with what these Wall Street analysts are up to and providing some information and entertainment. Make sure you always do your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.